now we are discussing the collision collision happen into the hashing we know that hashing is a procedure where we are going to find out the hash value of every element and we are putting the elements into the hash table then afterward the searching will be very fast but there are some situation whenever we are finding those hash values those hash value become same and there the collision happen so now we are going to understand how the collision happens with the help of one example here let us suppose we are having some certain numbers here let us say we are having 23 then we are having 21 then 20 then 5 and 10 so these are the some numbers available let's say we are going to apply the first function here which is division method that means on this we are going to apply the division method and here we are having the hash table so this one is the hash table with us where we are going to put all these keys and here the hash numbers are given so hash values are 0 1 2 3 and 4 here we are going to put these numbers or the keys so if you are applying the hash function here then it will be hk that is equal to k in bracket mod m so this one is our division method we know that in the hash function there are multiple methods like division method mid square method and the folding method with that we can find out the hash key so we have used the division method here and we are going to find out the keys hash functions let's suppose we we are going to find the hash function for the first key which is 23 then we are going to take the 23 and we are going to find the mod let's say we are going to take the value of m as 5 so here we can see that 23 is divided by 5 and the remainder will be 3 here so that we said the third place we are going to put this 23 then afterward we are going to find out the hash value of 21 so 21 is the key here so 21 mod then we are going to divide it by 5 and the remainder will be 1 so that means 21 will be placed at 1 here then further we are going to find out the hash value of 20 so 20 mod 5 again we are going to find the remainder here if i divide 20 by 5 that will be straight 0 so that means at the zero place we are going to put the 20 here then further again we are going to find out the hash value of 5 so here we can see that this 5 mod 5 means we are going to divide the 5 with the 5 and we are going to see the remainder here which is 0 we can see that here again we are having the 0 and the 0 place is already occupied and we want to store this 5 on the zero place so this is called the collision collision means whenever there is a situation where we are going to put a element at the address which is already occupied so now we are going to learn the definition if we want to add a new record with the keys to file but memory address is already occupied this is called collision so here 5 should be at 0 but 0 is already occupied so this is called the collision now what to do further so that is taken care with the help of the collision resolution so now we are learning the thing which is called collision resolution so now we are learning the collision resolution means whenever the collision happen we are going to focus on our address which is already occupied then these techniques are applied so there are two techniques of collision resolution the first one we are having is the linear probing and we are having the second technique which is the chaining now we are going to discuss these techniques one by one so first of all we are discussing the first technique of collision resolution that is the linear probing So now we are understanding the same example with the help of the first collision resolution technique which is the linear probing. The linear probing says that the empty space is searched using the linear search. 
because we are applying the linear search here that's why the name given is linear probing now we know that we have first taken the element 23 here and that 23 is stored properly then afterward we have taken the element 21 that was also stored then we have taken the element 20 and that was also stored at the proper position then afterward we have taken the element 5 but here the key 5 was having the hash value 0 and at the hash value 0 we already have some element so the element was there so that means the collision happened so this was the case now we are moving further with the help of the linear probing linear probing says that we has to find out the space as per the linear search so that means at the zero position there is no space available now we are going to check the next one at first position again the no space available so then we are going to see the next position here on second we are going to find the space so this is the proper match where we are going to store our element so that means the element number five so this key 5 will be stored here. So as per the linear search, we have first search 0, space was not there. We have search 1, space was not there. Then we have search 2, so space is available. That means the new hash value for this one will be 5. So this is the linear probing method. Similarly, we are going to see the next element here, which is the 10. So now we are taking the 10 here. So we are going to find out the hash value of 10 and that will be equal to 10 mod 5 and if I am dividing the 10 with the 5 then the remainder will be 0. If we see the 0 position then we can see that already element is placed that means again this is a collision. So this is one more time collision happen then we are applying the linear probing here. In the linear probing, we are again starting from the element where the collision happened. So that was 0. So in the 0, there is no space. In the 1, again there is element, so no space. Going on the 2, again no space. Going on the 3, no space. Going on the 4, yes, space is available. So here we can put our next element or the key here. So the next key will be placed at the fourth hash value. So there you can see that this is how we are going to insert the keys in the different different hash value into the hash table. So this is the method of linear probing means we are going on the linear search and we are going to find out the different different values at their proper place. In the linear probing there are various disadvantages. So now we are discussing the disadvantages of linear probing. If we talk about the first disadvantage of linear probing, then the record here tend to cluster. Means record just come one after another. They appear in the sequence, one after the another. So this is the one disadvantage. Then we are having one more disadvantage of linear probing and that is, it increase the average time to search the record. Because the clustering is made in the linear probing, means records are coming one after the other, because the linear search is going on whenever the search space is available they put the element so they tend to cluster themselves now because of that the search time got increased well there are two further types of the linear probing by which we can minimize this clustering and these two types are quadratic probing and the double hashing so with the help of that we can even reduce the clustering also but now here we are going to discuss the next collision resolution technique that is the chaining. Now we are discussing the chaining and we are taking the same example where we have left with the collision and we have solved with the linear probing but still before solving with the linear probing the same example we have opted till the collision. So this example we are taking for the chaining also. Now if we talk about the chaining, in the chaining the records with the same hash address are linked together in the form of linked list. So here in the chaining the records which are having the same hash value will be linked together and there we are going to form the linked list here. So that's why it is called the chaining because a chain is created. Now if we talk about the previous example which we have taken then we have successfully find the 23 key hash value which was 3 so that means it was stored at the 
third position then we find the hash value of 21 and that was 1 that means it stored at the 1 then we find the hash value of 20 and that was 0 so 20 was stored at 0 then we find the hash value of 5 and that was again 0 which just created the collision now here in the chaining method we are going to see where is the hash value so hash value here is 0 that means in this hash value 0 we are going to create one more block here so here we are going to create one more block so this block we are creating and in this block we are going to put that value which is 5 and as it is having the same hash value 0 that's why it is connected with the previous element in the form of the link list so here it is created like the link list that means it is created like this now we are going to see how the other elements are going to happen now we are going to take the next element which is 10 so the hash value of key 10 will be find out so here we are going to find out 10 mod 5 if I divide the 10 with the 5 then the remainder will again be 0 we can see that at the 0 already the element is stored so this is again the case of collision but here we are having the collision resolution technique which is the chaining so by this chaining method we can resolute this problem because this is having the same hash value that's why one more block will be created afterward and here we are going to put the value or the key which is 10 and that is connected with the previous element in the form of the link list so here you can see that similarly we are going to place the different elements and the link list will be created so zero element will be having their own link list so similarly all will be having their own link lists just like you can see that this zero hash index is having a linked list similarly if more elements are added so all the hash values can be having their own linked lists so this linked lists are coming like a chain because you can see that zero is having its chain so similarly one two three four will be having their own chain so this is called the chaining method by which we are going to resolve the collision so these two methods one is the linear probing and second one is the chaining methods are used for resolving the collision into the hashing so that is all about the collision resolution